my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Hey, so I got a little rant here in me, you know, a, a feeling of hey, I, there's something I want to say because I was uh, looking at Facebook and there was this guy who asked, uh, how, how do you guys um, long thread with a lot of answers to it? And he asked, how do you guys remember scales? Is it like you remember intervals, like how far is there between the notes? Or is it like a scale shape, a visual thing with dots on the fretboard? Or is it the notes or what goes on inside? And then a whole avalanche of just BS happened underneath that. I'm sorry. Sometimes I have to tell, you know, say things that are not necessarily very nice to hear uh, because we make ourselves guilty of this sometimes. We all do, and I did, right? But what all the answers were about were simply stories justifying not to learn scales, right? All kinds of BS, and I did, I actually, I didn't know, I couldn't remember that this uh, exists outside of picking fast, and that's something we're just gonna touch upon in a second. You know, all the stories about, you know, people have about, oh, I don't wanna learn to play fast because then I'll lose the feeling when I play, or I don't wanna learn to play fast because, you know, speed isn't everything. <laughs> Sorry, just having fun here. But I'll just I'll just put one take one answer out of many out here and, and read it to you. And I won't tell his name anything. Just the, the it's such a good example. And there's a lot like this, I can promise you that. Before we I go on, then just go download the free courses underneath here, the, the sweet picking course, the uh, alternate picking course, and check out the new program on alternate picking. It is amazing. Uh, of course I think so, but it is. Here's the answer to the scale shape thing. Just learning scales won't do you much good, okay? You need to know how the notes work in relation to the tonal center. Uh, how to build uh, harmonies, triads, and chords, and how tensions work. The alphabet and little dots on the paper aren't all that useful until you can do just that. With a very little training, any monkey can sit on the couch and play scales. It doesn't mean he knows how to use them. I am willing to bet my right arm, and I need my right arm, that this guy doesn't know his scales. This guy tries to avoid learning scales. What he just did was take somebody who's really, who really knows his scales, who can play them across the neck, total navigation, no hesitation, and he just took that guy and said, oh, you don't know anything. Oh, you need to know the tonal center. What are you talking about? You need to know how to build triads and chords and why do you need that? All you need is a scale and your freaking ear and you can learn it. If I play an A minor in the background and I play the A minor scale, you don't need to know nothing about tonal centers, nothing about triads, arpeggios or any theoretical concept. All you need is six notes and your ear. Oh, sounds good. Not so much. That's a passing note. Sounds okay, that sounds good. Tension, but it's cool tension. This sounds good. Ah, cool tension. Home, a little tension. Ah, tension. So let me play a melody, starting and ending on a note that sounds good. I don't know to know anything. That's the cool tension. That's the note that sounds home. And then you sit there like meditating. Your brain can do all that because you're human. Music comes from inside of us as a species. It never appeared outside. It came from inside. It's because it's what we like. So all this bogus about tonal centers and triads, and it's cool to, you know, learn all these things and tension. You need to know, okay, so, and we got a lot of explanations. A guy that says, I learn scales, but as I'm learning them, I try to really notice, you know, where, how each note sounds uh, depending on, you know, it's all, it's all these blown up, sophisticated, uh, 
explanations to something that is so simple, and it's all an attempt to get away from just learning to pick and learning to play scales. Learn your freaking craft, right? Learn, your, learn the stuff you need to learn. Would you ever take a carpenter and say, oh, you, you know, anyone can use a hammer. It's how you use the hammer that's important. Oh, anyone can use a, oh, anyone can, you know, shut up with that. Any monkey could just learn the freaking craft and then produce art afterwards and stop sitting on your behind in your couch, you know, making yourself clever as to what is valuable and what is not. It's easy, learn it. But we all try to say, okay, there's a guy more experienced than me. Oh, there's a guy better than me. I want that too. Oh, let's shut that knee down. Let's shut that drive down immediately by coming up with a stupid explanation as to why what he knows isn't that desirable anyway. You know, and you can see here, I have a lot of energy on this because I hate that behavior in me, right? I want to go for it. I want to use that pain of, <gasps> I want that to move forward. Why? Because sitting on my butt in my couch doing nothing, full of stories about why I shouldn't move anywhere and sit with one note and go, <laughs> right? Instead of learning something that will expand my playing, right? It's, it's sitting on my butt like that is pleasure to that degree, right? It's comfortable. It's okay, you know, it doesn't hurt anywhere. But to take the pain of pushing through, persistently learning something, you know, enlightening myself on the fastest way of learning something, really getting there, pushing for it, and then winning through, because I know I can if I just keep at it, you know, and find the right strategy so I can do it faster and more effectively. If I do that, I will get tons more pleasure, like a hundred times, right? I will be able to just... You know, go across the fretboard. No, you know, I, just, I can see the dots. And then, uh, just go to another, go to another key. Oh, that's an arpeggio. You know, it makes me, I can play suddenly. And when I play on this fretboard, music comes out. Not because I'm a genius, because I know my craft, right? I know my basic skills. Because I don't, I'm not busy writing a hundred replies to, to decent questions that are just stories about why I shouldn't move and do anything. Instead, I'm moving and doing something so I can get the big rewards, right? I, ho I so hope, it, even, it, you either you know, shut me down and, and saw another video, watched another video, or you agree, right? Or you're just furious now. <gasps> How dare you question my strategy in life for sitting on my butt doing nothing. I don't question it. If that's what you want, Go for it. There's a thousand friends or a hundred thousand friends to find out there who wants the same thing, allegedly, apparently, right? When I look at Facebook. But the few who wants that big reward, those are the ones who are willing to sit down, just learn the freaking thing with no stories in mind and, you know. And that brings us to picking or playing the technique. That's another thing. I thought that was the only area. I saw scales, really? You don't want to learn those as well? I know it's it's hard work, but it's it's tough and it's it's really, it's great work. It's fun work, right? Because the, all the rewards you get from it. But you don't want that either? That's You got lots of stories for that also? Well, speed, there's nothing like speed or picking fast or playing fast that has the same whole, you know, the whole, the hordes of mediocr mediocrity gather around and say, ah, you shouldn't learn to play fast because you'll lose your ability to be melodic and play with feeling. Ah, you shouldn't do that. Or speed isn't everything. Oh, excuse me. Did, did you hear somebody say that speed is everything? Where's the idiot who claimed that, hey guys, speed is everything. I don't need music. I can just... You know, I don't need to listen to melody. I don't care about melody. I don't care about harmonies and chords and stuff like that or rhythm. Speed, my friend, is everything. Show me the fool. And why is everybody arguing with the, the same non-existent fool who says that? Because that's what they say inside when they see the promised land of amazing technique, right? They see it and they go, oh, I want to move there, but I can't. I think I cannot. I'm limited in some way. I don't have the talent, the skill, my fingers are short, so I don't have the time. I have a family and a job. How could I ever dream of such amazing things? But you can, it's easy. Take a step until you're there, right? But instead of doing that and risking something, we just stay where we are and say, oh, 
Speed isn't everything. Who said speed was everything? You did, right? You just said that. Oh, that's everything. Oh, if I could have that, my whole life would be amazing. People would love me. When well, they would come up to me, brrr, I would play that fast. And would, oh, you're amazing, people would say. Oh, right? I will make money. I'll be in the best bands, you know. <laughs> Women would love me, right? All these things happen in the brain because you desire that. And then you kill it immediately and say, oh, that's, that is not everything, right? <laughs> Sorry, I get carried away here. I hope you're with me here. And the reason why I have such energy about it is because it kills what I think is most important, which is getting to that beautiful place where you expand your playing style, what you can do, and it feels so good, but it requires you to stop making stories. And you know what? Once you stop making stories, you stop taking action. It's as simple as that. One thing or the other. The brain doesn't just shut it down. If you shut it down, it's with a story about how speed isn't everything or how you have to, you know, other things are important and you have to find the tonal center of every scale shape. And, you know, either you do that in your head or you naturally take action. You go uh, and you just start, excuse me, I just have to go there, right? That's what happens in every human being. <laughs> So all you do is drop the story. But if you're one of these people who are unwilling to drop the story, you wouldn't be watching this video. So I know if you're still with me here at this point, after that many minutes, you're going to, you're going to use this and you're going to make progress. And you're going to check out the new program, right? The only right action after watching this video. Click the link below here. <laughs> I'll see you in, in uh, tomorrow's video. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.